question is how does the devil influence your spirit after you got born again I'll tell you okay so in the spirit realms there are activities of the spirit meditation of scriptures and not the activities of the spirit I tell you some few things that are under the activities of spirit I shall in awe me somebody on the holes of our capacity to dwell a long time in prayer and develop to a point where you cannot subscribe energy from the realms not normal from the emotions your emotions have not come under the energies of the spirit for prayer it is called transfiguration where a man has so prayed that you tapped into a dimension of prayer it takes time because until you have cultivated and learned to dwell consistently diligently in the secret place you will not come under the shadow of the almighty so in the old testament they came under a shadow because they dwelt that shadow became the power the energy the ability to stay there with no weakness with no tiredness but somebody ought to dwell for a long time in the secret dealing with the flesh Jesus stayed in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights oh what a moment to bruise the flesh and then finally he came under the glory of the Lord or the shadow in the Old Testament but in the New Testament you call it the light of his presence that's not where the strength to pray comes from that's not where the, the capacity to stay long and to tarry in his presence comes from because that's not an element of glorification that hits a man because of his consistency in prayer now in the spirit world the moment you say father in the name of jesus or reina shake up parada in as much as you don't feel it the spirit world opens to the father oh, there's a direct transmission that crosses through the dimensions of the spirit satan will hear your vibration every spiritual dimension will know that somebody has doomed to heaven but because you don't know you stop praying so satan will come you know what he's doing he's giving you witness for God that you have cancer God is not gonna hear you for God your child is busy what's gonna happen to him have you forgotten you don't have a job you don't have money oh have you remember you you, you messed up yesterday oh come on you're filthy come on can't you see that you, you have no time you, you have work tomorrow don't you see that you, you don't feel the Holy Spirit you know he's that cloud that's what happens in the spirit world you're being distracted so in that moment you start struggling with your mind you start struggling with the weight of the subjections of your flesh the frequency dies because you're tired they said that's a go and sleep you went to bed boom you slept for hour two hours three hours four hours five hours six hours seven hours he will come and wake you up you are deceiving yourself so that's what satan wants to do in the realms of the spirit he causes you to go against things that cultivate your spirit he causes you to to, to have shut time to to limit your commitment to factors that develop your spirit so your worship is short circuited your prayer life short circuited your meditation and ascension into god's presence it's short circuited you have no time that you spend with god i 
at least that should be an hour or two hours in a day. Apart from praying in tongues, you should have an altar in your house. Can you get what I'm trying to say? Everybody should have a room called the room of prayer. Your child should know when this is where I pray. When you enter that place, it's a place you go on your knee. Prepare it. Don't go and buy mystical things and put there. No, 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 no. It's a place that you have prepared and, and kept for your secret place of prayer. Where you enter, you call it your holy of holies. Hallelujah. So as I lock myself here, I'll be here for two hours. And nothing will bring me out. You throw that phone away. Throw that preacher away. Throw that distraction away. Get into the secret place. And say, Yahweh! If you need songs to lift you, put that song for a moment. After, shut that song down. Because you need to learn to, to, to travel with that songs. When Jesus was in the wilderness, there was no spiritual songs that lifted him up. Oh, Mahida. When Moses went to the mountains, there were nothing that helped him. He had to learn to engage his spirit. He started finding the tune of the spirit. He started, Mahila! He was fine. The flesh was there. He, 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 the heaviness of the flesh is there. You know, the Bible says the flesh is not willing to pray. So he has to learn to break out of the flesh, finding the vibration of the spirit. Because somewhere in your consciousness, there is the spirit. Yes. Right there in your consciousness, there is the weight of flesh that doesn't want you to pray. Right there in your consciousness, there is the urges of your, of your imaginations that are contrary, that are, are, are attacking your confidence in prayer. So you must begin to find the spirit. You start finding the moment you feel the urge, there is a fire there. You enter it. If it's earlier, you locate that urge. You enter there. Then you ascend and cut off. From the weight of your imaginations and flesh you must understand that the human consciousness is clouded human consciousness is mixed up it's mixed so you must find 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 that which is of the spirit crush ignore silence that which is of the flesh because part of your consciousness is flesh ignorance darkness imaginations contrary Energies that are contrary to your spirit and also the energies of your spirit. They are all in one. Tuned just like when you enter your car, you start tuning the radio station, eh? you start tuning the airwaves until you get to that particular station that you want to listen to. While you are tuning, you will see different stations. Some are, are singing, Rock me, rock me, baby. Sex, sex, sex. You see, you, you go off from that frequency. Why you tune your consciousness? You come across your past. You come across the mistakes of your yesterday. You come across the urges. You come you, as you're tuning, you're tuning. Mama, Shania, like, I know you're struggling, but something says don't quit. Don't quit. Keep pushing. Let's say here, I'm a man. Let's push it. Sometimes you're like, la, ma, 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 ma. So then we flash something into your mind, and like, I'm a champion. Don't quit. It's the blood of Jesus. You are sent again. No, da, da, da. Sent again. In the name of Jesus. By the time you capture. The station of Zion. Oh, you stay there. Are you hearing me? You stay there by the Spirit. You stay there by the Spirit. Ah, oh, the Bible says the word of God grew mightily and prevailed and prevailed and prevailed. But it will take a disciplined Christian that understands that the things of the Spirit. Diligent.